from the Royal Jakarta Golf Club and the world's long driving champion, two time champion of that. Oh. Deciding now to put that behind him, turn pro, and he's showing he's got the game, Jamie Sidlowski. Making the cut at two under par. Round of the day came from Anaban Lahiri, the 2014 champion, with a round of 66. Didn't have a birdie on the card on day one in a 75, but he's right back in cont contention because it's really congested at the top of the leaderboard. In fact, only eight shots separate those at the top to those that have made the cut. Gaganji Buller. Disappointing finish in the end for him. He found the water at 18, but uh, he's still in with a chance of back-to-back -back wins. Is uh, the Indian and a few Indians up there, including uh, Chikaranga Pa, who shot around a 67 on day two. How about that for a lovely shot at the sixth on his way to being seven under par through 36 holes. Got to nine under was par at one stage. Did Masahiro Kanamura after uh, he held that part at the seventh, but. Uh, he uh, finished up in that group at seven under par, as did Tirawat Gay Sierra Bandit. He tied with a round of 68. Just one shot back heading into the weekend. He's one of those players who hasn't got full playing rights. Top Chai Jaidi. Well, lovely moment for him there at the second. If it wasn't for a bogey bogey finish, he would be the leader on his own. In the end, he finishes at seven under par. It's two Aussies at the top. Marcus Fraser knows a win for him this week would take him to the top of the rankings above Scott Head. He's got a chance. Second day, 67. He's at eight under par. As is Callum Richardson, 68 on day one. And he had this for another 68 to close out with a birdie at 18. He did it. And it's those two Australians who lead the way at the halfway stage.